You know, my dad had a rough upbringing, and him and his siblings and his mom suffered a lot of abuse. And it got so bad for my dad, he ran away to the World's Fair one year. I say to my dad, just this, this last year we have this conversation, I said, how did you do it? He goes, how did I do what? I go, well, you were abused by your dad, and yet you never abused me. That kind of stuff can get cyclical and get handed down. How did you break that off? And he says, I was listening to this sermon in Omaha, Nebraska, and the pastor said, if you want to be forgiven by Jesus, you must forgive others. And I kind of took that to mean, you can't keep the love of God as a reservoir. It has to remain a, riv a river. Right? I said, okay, so what did you do? He's like, well, after I heard that sermon, I go, I got to forgive my dad. So I wrote him a letter. And I said, oh, you wrote him a letter saying, I forgive you for all the terrible stuff you did. And my dad, he goes, what are you talking about? I wrote him a letter asking him to forgive me for all the bitterness I held in my heart toward him. And I said, Dad, what did your dad say when he got the letter? He goes, I don't even know if he got it. I just know once I put that letter in the mailbox, suddenly I was free. So I said, let's write a song called Suddenly to honor my dad and anybody else who the Spirit has freed them up to do the miraculous work of forgiveness. Amen.